Are you looking to improve the user navigation of your content on your WordPress website and ultimately enhance your SEO by adding a table of contents? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share exactly how you can add a table of contents to your WordPress blog post in just a few minutes using two methods. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into WordPress, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and add a table of contents to your WordPress blog post. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you two techniques, two methods for adding a responsive table of contents to your blog posts on WordPress. And both of these methods are gonna benefit your overall SEO, search engine optimization, and help your users navigate through each of your posts. Okay, so here we are on an example post. As you can see, we do not have a table of contents. So let's go ahead and dive into the first method of adding a table of contents to this post. To do this, all I need to do is navigate to my WordPress backend. Then simply navigate down to plugins and then locate add new. Then navigate over to search plugins over on the right hand side and type in simple TOC. Now this plugin is going to allow us to manually add our table of contents to individual posts. And the next method, which is another plugin I'm going to show you, will automatically add a table of contents to each of your posts. So simply navigate down and locate simple TOC table of contents block and click here. And this is going to allow us to add a table of contents block into the Gutenberg editor. Go ahead and click on activate, then simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate settings and then come down and locate simple TOC. Then make sure that you have force accordion menu enabled as well as force wrapper div and also force smooth scrolling. Then all you need to do is go ahead and click on save changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and navigate over to a post and this is the example post that I wanna add a table of contents to. Then within the Gutenberg editor, what we're gonna do is hit enter and add a space under header one under the title. Then simply add a new block and then type in simple TOC or if you can locate it down here, simply click on simple TOC and that's gonna add a table of contents in here. Now we want to navigate over to the right hand side and make sure that our settings are correct. Under heading text, make sure that your heading text has table of contents added. You can add anything that you like, but I suggest you add a table of contents for ease of use and readability. This is going to make sure that your website visitors know to click on the table of contents in order to generate all the different contents within that post. Then down here, I recommend selecting include header one, and this is by default. And then under maximum level, what we're gonna do is click here. And I want my table of contents to display header one, header two, and header three. So to do that, I'm gonna click include header three. I want my table of contents to be easy to use so that my website visitors can quickly find important sections within that post. Then once you've made those changes and before we go ahead and save draft or publish our post, we wanna go ahead and quickly preview what this post will look like with a table of contents. I'm gonna come down and click on preview in new tab. And then if we navigate down here, you can see our table of contents that has been added into our post. Now, if I click on the table of contents, that's gonna generate my table of contents. And you can see that each of these sections are heading two, heading two, heading two down here. We have another heading two, and these are heading threes, and then we have another heading two down here. So I like the way that my table of contents is displayed. Now, if a website visitor clicks on any of these sections, that's gonna take them down to that section on your post. And ultimately, this is going to optimize the user experience on your website and benefit your SEO search engine optimization. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is dive into the second method, which is going to allow you to automatically add a table of contents to each of your posts on your website. That way you don't have to manually add a table of contents to each of your existing posts. Okay, so to do this, I'm gonna navigate back to my dashboard. 
Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And this time, what we're going to do is navigate over to Plugins again and click on Add New, and then navigate over to Search Plugin, and this time we're going to search for Lucky WP TOC. And as you can see, this is the SEO friendly and lightweight table of contents plugin that we want to install. You can see that this is a popular plugin. Simply navigate up to install now and then click on activate. And once you've activated that plugin, simply locate settings over on the left hand side and then click on table of contents. Then navigate up to depth and what we're going to do is add three. That means our table of contents will add all the headers up to header three. That's going to keep our table of contents nice and clean and minimalistic. Come down to numeration and click here. You can play around with each of these options depending on the way you want to structure your table of contents. I'm happy with the default. Then navigate down to title and I'm going to add table of contents. That's going to ensure that my website visitors know exactly what this feature is. And I'm happy with everything else. So I'm going to navigate down and click on save changes. Then navigate up to auto insert. Here we want to auto insert this table of contents by clicking enable and make sure next to position we have before first heading and then choose the post type. So we want our table of contents just to appear in our post. Then again, go ahead and click on save changes. And congratulations, just like that, you've added a table of contents to each of your existing posts and future posts that you publish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out what this table of contents looks like on one of my posts. And as you can see on this existing post, if I navigate down, you can see we now have a table of contents. The website visitor can choose to hide this if they like, or then click on show. Then if they click on one of these headings, that's going to take them down to that heading. And again, that's going to increase the user experience and improve your overall SEO. And it's as simple as that to add a table of contents to your website post. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief WordPress tutorial, helping you add a table of contents to your blog post on WordPress. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.